This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. This is your first look at sports. I'm Jonathan Benson. The start of the 60th National Family Island Regatta is under a week away now, and Sandals Emerald Bay is once again proud to pledge their support. We don't necessarily benefit, to be honest, in terms of um, accommodation ourselves because we are a bit out of Georgetown. But nevertheless, you know, we are the main employer, the main business on the island. So it really is a responsibility we take very seriously um, and we advertise it to our guests and we provide a free shuttle for them to go down. So, you know, we do participate in it a lot. Now, while a lot of locals welcome the financial benefits of the National Family Island Regatta, taxi drivers say business in their sector could be better. Regatta used to be pretty well for the drivers. Uh, up to this particular point, uh, you know, we got fast ferries. The world is changing, things are changing. And uh, most folks from uh, the city would bring their vehicles to the island. Uh, they usually come to the airport and pick up friends. And so we make a little from them, not like we used to do uh, a few years ago. That is no good to us, not taxi drivers. Once ago, it was, but now you got all these fast ferries and all those things. People bring their own transportation from Nassau. We don't make no money out Regatta no more. Most of the people, them, they usually, like, the, the, um, they bring their vehicle on the boat and they come and pick up people. You don't really make much money like that on the, for Regatta. But you make some, but not like that. We have to find creative ways to get the persons to want to go in our cabs. And one of the things I always say, Rental cars don't talk. They can't give tours. Cab drivers can do that. Well, following the Carifta Championships, our swimmers are back in the pool training on a daily basis, and all of them will be looking to qualify for another big international meet this summer. We have the CC Cannon Championship, which is their premier age group championship that's been held in Costa Rica. And the qualifying standards of CC Cannon are a lot higher than they are for Carifta. And CC Cannon includes the, the, all the Carifta teams, as well as teams from Central America and the Spanish-speaking Caribbean and some teams from South America. This is a big championship that's held every two years and we have about 20 plus qualifiers already. So we plan to travel to Costa Rica immediately after our nationals in June and hopefully go there and duplicate the 30 plus medals we won last year. It's been a good week for ladies basketball in the country. As we told you last night, Waltia Roll was selected in the third round of the WNBA draft by the Minnesota Lynx. However, she is not the only one making history. After being named head coach of our women's national team, Yolette McPhee McEwen left her job as an assistant at Clemson and was introduced as the leader of the Jacksonville University women's basketball program. This is the first time that the Bahamian will serve as a basketball head coach at the Division I level, and Yolette thanked those who made it possible. To my parents, Gladstone and Daisy McPhee, thank you for instilling in me the necessary tools to take on this journey that we call life. This day marks the dawn of culture in JU women's basketball. It begins today. It begins now, and it begins with an era that each and every one of you will be able to be proud of. We will have fun, we will sweat, and we will give 100%, 100% of the time. Jacksonville and the basketball community will know who we are, and there will be no ceilings to our daily strivings and accomplishments. I am truly humbled, honored, blessed to be the leader of this program. My staff and I, We'll give everything we have to JU and this women's basketball program. This is a great accomplishment for me and a responsibility that I hope to use to inspire young people by being living proof that hard work does pay off. I truly believe that this is our time. Working together, success will be ours for the taking. Well, the Kersner International Basketball League set to continue with its best of three first-round playoffs tonight at Malcolm Park. In the feature game, the Banquet Ballers will be looking to punch their ticket to the semifinals, while Virgil Stars will be hoping to force a do-or-die game three come Friday. Defense, getting back on defense. And that's about it, and rebounding, basically. But we should be able to handle this guy. Banquet Ballers is the team to look out for. Last year we fall a little short, but this year we come to take it all. We're not going to sleep, we're just going to over it. 
send them fishing. I think we got it wrap up. You know, we we buy good bombers. You know, we can do this. We can do this big. One night you play bad, and next night you just come out and blow the team. That's how um, OJ is. But um, I think we play good, and we get them next time. We still got a chance. We're still in the playoffs. Hopefully next game we could work out some stuff and we could win this. Well, come April 26th to the 28th, Camp Trevor Grant will travel to Grand Bahama to take part in the St. George's Jaguars Basketball Showcase. And it's all about providing opportunities for our young men to further their education abroad. Well, we can take them here in the Bahamas. You know, you know, you can't just shadow these kids for your benefits. I don't work out just for my benefits. I don't want everything you can win in basketball. You know, so if it's if it's a kid I can work out, and this kid it may be my key player for the following year, and I see a school in the states want him, he's gonna go. Especially if the school is reliable, and the parents don't have to pay a dime. Because when I work out, when I work through a scholarship for kids, I might make sure that the parents are not looking to pay a dollar towards their scholarship. Well, with under a week to go before the start of the National Family Island Regatta, King Eric Gibson officially launched his A-Class boat, the Palm Key Princess, earlier today at Arawak Key. For King Eric, it's all about going down to Georgetown Exuma and taking care of business. In, in a couple of regattas, yeah, but practice it's just practice rounds to see what I need to do. Yeah. And that's how I was doing. But she did very well. She gave a lot of guys here some headache. Yeah, they, they, they know she coming. I, I promised the Palm Key a winner, and I'll do that. All, all the boats like good news them. Watch out, the king is coming. I made a statement, and I'm going to stand by it. If, if, they, if I win a second, I ain't want it. I'm going to give them the trophy back. I won't fight so nothing. And that will do it for sports, but stay tuned. There's more to come after the break. This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by 4th Terrace Diagnostic Center.